Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us on your Wednesday. I'm Sophie Erber. The U.S. Postal Service says it's working around the clock to ensure mail-in ballots are delivered before Election Day deadlines. KCAU 9's Raquel Martin with the latest from Washington, D.C. in our top story at 5. The U.S. Postal Service says it is prepared to handle an influx of mail-in ballots this election cycle. At a press conference today, they say they are in close contact with state election officials who have recently flagged some concerns. As Election Day draws near, leaders from the U.S. Postal Service are urging voters not to delay mailing in their ballots. Return their ballot at least seven days prior to the election. The message comes after the National Associations of Secretaries of State recently questioned USPS delivery times. It's a real concern for all of our states and all of our counties. Pennsylvania Secretary of State Al Schmidt says he's been in close contact with USPS to ensure every ballot gets counted. The presidential election is likely to come down to the swing state, which legally cannot start counting mail-in ballots until election day. Fortunately, the Postal Service has worked very closely with many of our counties, and you have maybe at least one, probably two deliveries on that day. USPS officials confirm they are in close contact with election officials in Pennsylvania and across the country to spot and fix any potential mail delivery issues. They also insist delivery times have improved since the last election. 99.9% .9 of ballots delivered from voters to election officials within seven days. This week, USPS began its so-called extraordinary measures to make it easier for voters to return ballots. That includes special lines for drop-offs at stores, additional pickups, and extended hours, including keeping processing centers open the Sunday before Election Day. USPS also says it's still working closely with states devastated by recent hurricanes to ensure mail gets to and from victims currently displaced. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin.